Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now this is a brand new expansion to Monster Hunter Rise that is going to be releasing later this month and it's looking to be a absolutely massive expansion similar to how Iceborne was pretty much just a brand new game added onto Monster Hunter World. And as a big Monster Hunter fan, I am super hyped for this and they actually currently have a demo for it available right now. And so I decided to give it a go and try it out to see if there was any performance differences between this and the base game. And I was happy to see that it was performing beautifully at 1080p full resolution but with the lowest graphics settings. So you have to essentially adjust the resolution setting there because the lowest graphics settings does try to set the resolution target to 70%. And you can run this game perfectly fine at 100% and you're going to be able to get some great frame rates and 1% lows at the stock settings here. And it's pretty much overall a really fantastic experience i'm really impressed overall with just the resident evil engine and, and how flexible it's been in terms of how it can just run on really low-end hardware while also looking really good i mean i'm blown away that this is a switch game originally but because it was designed to essentially run on the switch it just runs so well on integrated graphics i'm just blown away because this is essentially a brand new title that's coming out this year that runs this well on integrated graphics and we're not even talking about 6000 series integrated graphics here we're, we're talking about 5000 series where we're still just running on vega and it does this well i can't imagine what it would be like if you had rdna 2 integrated graphics you could probably actually do some high refresh rate gaming or i guess turn up the visual quality if you're someone that doesn't just want to play at the low settings but overall i'm just really impressed with how it runs on the stock tdp of course we could try to improve this by raising the TDP and at the 25 watt TDP really what we overall see is just a small little uplift in the averages and the 1% lows and overall the experience is just going to be slightly smoother really it is a welcome uplift especially considering the fact that it isn't that much more demanding on the system though we are starting to get into some pretty hot temperatures there but it's not getting into the 80s which means it's still at a range where I would feel comfortable being at for prolonged use it could certainly be better but overall i think that the experience that i was getting like this was more than acceptable and i think that most people are going to be very happy to play like this but of course we can raise the tdp a bit more all the way up to 30 watts to see if that nets us any gain whatsoever at the 30 watt tdp we pretty much end up seeing just a small improvement where now we have one percent lows that are in the 50s range and our averages are almost at 60 so it is providing the smoothest possible experience but the temperature that we are, are at now are just at such a high level that I really would not want to play prolonged periods like this. I mean, I guess if you just play these games just to do like one hunt and then you're off, you can maybe do it like this. But honestly, these temperatures, I'm just not a big fan of seeing them this high, at least not on budget systems that weren't really designed to be running at these high temperatures 24 seven. But on another note, by dropping the internal render resolution down to the 70% that the low preset wanted to originally go with we do see a pretty large increase in terms of our performance here where our one percent lows are at a level now where you can really just comfortably do high refresh rate gaming without any problems now visually it's not going to look great on a monitor but there are budget laptops that are shipping with the 5000 series of cpus that being the 5625u and the 5825u that have 120 hertz displays and i mean if you have a system with one of those all you have to do is set the render resolution to 70 percent and you're suddenly going to be able to utilize a good chunk of that high refresh rate I mean, that's pretty awesome if you ask me again visually speaking i don't really recommend playing like this if you're going to be using an external monitor but if your internal laptop's display is a high refresh rate one you're going to be able to actually utilize that which is pretty impressive overall so this dlc is going to be releasing towards the end of this month and if you're interested in picking it up you can always check out the g2a link down below it is an affiliate link and it does help support the channel anyways i hope you found this video useful if you did be sure to subscribe and i will see you guys next time